Hey guys, today I want to talk to you a little bit about a particular product that I had never tried until today. And I have to say it was actually quite enjoyable. Um, and it is oil sticks. Now I'm an oil painter, have been for like ever, but had never really tried oil sticks. And um, there's a uh, artist in my area that actually makes his own oil sticks. And they're, uh, and his name is Paul Damaris, an amazing uh, artist. and. Um, had the opportunity uh, through one of my students actually um, to try his product that he makes and it's it's Paul Damaris oil sticks and you can get them online and uh, so we're going to talk to you a little bit about it today I went ahead and did a painting with them um, actually during my art class that I had yesterday and just really wanted to feel it out truly give you my um, honest feedback on the product since you know, I, I feel like I need to try all the products that um, that I will review. So here we go. I'm gonna we're gonna go in with just a landscape that I did uh, using Paul Damaris's oil sticks, and um, I, I I I went ahead and time lapsed it for you because I didn't I don't think think you wanted to watch the whole two hours of me uh, playing with oil sticks, but uh, it was really fun. Um, and I will uh, tell you on the backside about what I thought about the product. So here we go. Here's the box of Paul Damaris's oil sticks. Just as you would get them if you got them in the mail, I suppose. And in here we have, I'm not really certain what kit this particular one is as he has many different kits. In it, he includes a little blade that you can use to cut the dried edges off your oil sticks. And here you see them all kind of laid out. It's a, it's a pretty sweet little kit right there. And it's, I have to say, they do have a, an ex a real creamy consistency. And he has an abundance of colors that you can select from. And here you see the setup as I'm getting ready to do this painting. I used a painting that I had done previously of a scene from just a sunset that I saw in Santa Fe, New Mexico. It seemed to suit the colors um, that came in the kit. Well, so away I went and just started painting. Well, that was fun. I, ha I really did enjoy working with Paul Damaris' oil sticks. Um, I did the landscape. My experience with the sticks was that they were very, very creamy. Um, obviously, this is probably, since I did this again, a la prima and a time-lapse um, landscape there, um, I would be curious to try them to see how they layer and as they would maybe with any other oil, but you'd have to give it a little dry time in between. But um, overall, I really did enjoy them. I used Q-tips for blending. Um, in the kit, Paul Damaris does include like a little smudgy thing, almost like a little makeup sponge. And I, I used it a little bit, but I, I actually found that using the Q-tips was better for me. I, I can keep my nice wet edges or the soft edges um, in the landscape, which was fun. And it was fun using the Q-tips also to blend the clouds and you know, I having not really had experience with oil sticks before, I would say that definitely would try it again. Um, I know that my, um, I do believe that Paul Damaris's sticks are super, super creamy. Um, the blendability seems to be awesome. The chroma or the content of color and pigmentation is really nice. I know that he makes um, different kits or packages that you can buy at different um, price points. The colors that I had to work with, um, I 
personally would like to have seen, like I could probably would like to have more earth tones, but it was perfect for the, that's why I selected the particular uh, painting, it was a painting that I had done before and just wanted to try to repeat that idea with a different uh, medium. So uh, overall, I would say it was a really fun way to go. I really did enjoy his product. So again, it's um, Paul Damaris, um, the oil sticks, definitely um, a pretty neat product. I would definitely recommend it. Give it a try. Um, we'll include a link here for you to go ahead and uh, go to Paul's site. And if you're interested in, in looking at it a little bit yourself and maybe even trying the product. Um, and again, thanks for tuning in. Please subscribe and give me some thumbs up and some love. And let me hear some comments from you. If there's something that you want to see me cover, hey, let me know what you're, what you're thinking. And uh, yeah, thanks again. We'll see you next time. Bye.